Good morning, Wi-Fi land all over the world today. We greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He whose name is above all others, to him be the glory, both now and forevermore. Amen. What Paul said in Philippians 1.23, to depart and to be with Christ is far better. And I just about had an opportunity to prove that for myself last week. I was driving down this country road, and there's this big diesel truck uh, pulling a big cattle feed trailer coming toward me. And as he came, he's, he's drifting further and further uh, to the left into my lane. And, and so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm watching and waiting for him to you know, see what he's doing and to, to turn back. But, but, but he didn't. So I've got Jacob, my, my son, and he's on my Bluetooth. And I'm saying, this truck's coming right at me. And then there's a power pole on my right-hand side. And so this truck, now we're 100 yards apart. He's in my lane. We're going to go head on. So I, I whip the car off past the power pole uh, you know, to the right. This truck whizzes by me. And, and, and I said to Jacob, I got to talk to this guy. And I, I, I wasn't angry. Uh, but I wasn't happy either. So I made a U-turn. About a half mile later, he pulls over. He gets out. You know, he's you know very apologetic. I said, well, what are you doing? She just about ran me over. And he's, you know, he's saying he's sorry, sorry. And he tells me that his mom just got out of the hospital and that she uh, is living with him and he's responsible for her. And she had sent him a text and he's reading the text from his mom, which is the reason he wasn't watching, down the, watching the road. And so I, I told him, listen, you know, if I would have died, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, I would have gone to heaven. And I said, where would you have gone? And he said, to jail. And I said, wait, wait a minute. No, what do you mean? To oh, I, I understood that I hadn't communicated very well. I said, no, if you died, if I died and you died too, where would you have gone? And he said, to hell. And then I gave him the gospel message. Uh, I asked him his name. His name's Edgar. And so I told him about Christ. And then I, I said, can we pray together? So I prayed for him, prayed for his salvation, prayed for his family situation and all. And uh, then uh, I had a Christian calendar, 12 page calendars, got scriptures on each for each month. And I gave it to him. And I said, now listen, Edgar, you know, this is a divine appointment. You know, you could have run anybody else off the road and they would have caught up with you and hit you in the head. But here I am telling you about the love of God, telling you about Jesus Christ, uh, uh, praying for you, giving you a Christian calendar with a scripture on it, with messages. And, and this is a divine appointment. God is speaking to you. You need to be saved. And as I thought about the situation later, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, Jacob, my son, was on, still on the Bluetooth during, during this whole thing. But, but as I thought about it, I thought, you know, I thank God that he has placed in my heart uh, that even in a situation like that, the most important thing was for that man's soul, that Edgar would come to know my Lord and my Savior, Jesus Christ. I thank God for that. You know, the Bible says in Ephesians 5, 16, we're to redeem the time. And so we need to be concerned for souls in every situation of our life. It could be a divine appointment for that person or for us. And, you know, so I thank God for that. And I thank God that he had Jacob uh, on the phone with me at that time. So if he ever gets run off the road, he can remember how his dad handled it and maybe tell that person about Christ if he has opportunity. But, you know, we need to be prepared at any moment. The Lord could come and take us away, or we might get hit by a diesel truck. And in a moment, there we are in eternity. We need to have everything fixed in our life where we are right with our wives, right with other people, and that we uh, uh, are making sure that we're living for Christ and telling people about him. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen.